Hey everybody, it's Mr. Fudge, your balloon man, and today we're going to be making a two balloon dog. Now, a lot of these two balloon things I start by tying them together. The dog, I don't do that, but that's okay. I get about a, a good liberal hands length on each one, a little bit more is, is fine. And I'm going to start with a light colored balloon and twist off two bubbles of about equal size, like so. I then take my dark balloon, twist off a one inch bubble, roll that through the center, and twist that around, that'll later be the nose. And then I tie the rest of my balloon together, and from this point on, we're twisting two balloons. If you'd like to make the nose look pretty in the beginning, you pull this pretty tight and twist like it's an ear twist. And that's gonna give you a mushroom twist, or basically an ear twist without the rest of the balloon that you can shove in and make the nice nose, cheeks, and jowls of the dog. From this point, we're going to twist two balloons as one. That's going to be one eye in the back of the head. I twist a one inch bubble, fold over with a bigger bubble that's going to become part of the ear. Then make another one inch bubble, bigger bubble. That's going to be the other ear. Then I find my pieces again. There we go. So we've got our ears. I line these back up to make the other side of our head. So now we've got the back of the head and the eyes. The ears will actually, the small bubble wedges between the dark and the light balloon. So that you get your nice ear shape. I twist the neck as one. Continue with front legs, the body twisting as one, back legs, and of course, the child gets the choice of his tail. Usually, whatever tail color it is, is the opposite color of the extra body. So if I use green for the body, I'm gonna have yellow tail. And sometimes I can get three passes out of it, but usually I just try to make sure there's two, because it gives the extra thickness and the color difference to where the smaller bubble in the middle, the lighter bubble, just looks better. A lot of times I add a small ear twist at the tip here, and give the tail a little shape and can wedge the legs in such a way that it stands up a little straighter. And that's mostly our dog. I'm going to do a little bit of Sharpie art because it makes a much bigger difference. Once you can see the eyes and the little touches you can put in place here. So those are quick eyes. And I don't give them whiskers per se, but I give the illusion of that with the dots. And there you go. There's our two balloon puppy dog.